My name is Serge Muscalic. I'm a senior manager in the vShield team, the, the security and network solutions team that works on the server BU, Ragu, and under all one Sequera. And kind of the DNA of our team is that we're a bunch of network security experts. Uh, you know, there's the uh, folks from the Blue Line days, from the Blue Code days, Packeteer, a bunch of folks that have done a bunch of network security things. And that's one of the things that we bring to this company is we try to bring some of the automation and rapid provisioning around. A lot of the features that are plumbing the data center today, that takes quite a bit of time with physical appliances and a lot of physical gear. We simplify that and we create ability and workflows where folks could stand up cloud environments with a deep plumb data center, with all the network and security automation in place, working with our vCloud solutions, working with vSphere directly uh, as, of, as of this release. When we look at security today, it happens to be sometimes a sales inhibitor or a, one of the things that customers struggle with as they go to mixed virtual environments. And what we do is we bring uh, the virtualized security to be in a forefront and uh, it's part of your initial design and we actually get you a more secure environment that you would have had with your physical counterpart products by leveraging vSphere, you get some additional capabilities that you didn't have before, and it's all because the security is built into the vSphere stack directly. Today we have a product family that we're introducing uh, after the 4.1 vSphere release, and it contains three major new products. We have the vShield Edge, and we have the vShield Zones app, and then we also have the vShield Endpoint. And if you look at from high level how the products are used and what they're solving out there, we look at the vShield Edge product as the multi-tenancy enabler to create uh, virtual firewalls, virtual routers that are doing NAT, that are doing a bunch of features that are needed for cloud environments to protect individual orgs running on a multi-tenant vSphere deployment base using vCloud, using vSphere. That's what the Edge product is all about. And you get rapid provisioning out of it. You don't have to rack and stack a bunch of uh, physical appliances that service your vSphere environment. And you can quickly, on the fly, stand up these tenant, multi-tenant environments. On the vShield zones and the vShield app side, we look at it as a VM to VM east-west kind of security. So there we're saying that we can create a policy using vSphere containers such as resource pools or such as folders or vApps. You can say that from this vApp to this vApp only allow this kind of communication and not all the protocols. And you actually get to a positive security model because we're able to put a point of enforcement on every virtual machine at the front door of the of virtual machine, and that's a level of enforcement you never had in a physical network because you have blind spots be behind firewalls that are sitting on the edge of the network, and you can't enforce things behind it. And the last piece that we have is the vShield endpoint, which allows people to take and offload their antivirus from inside of the virtual machine to the ESX host. So instead of you running 30 virtual machines, let's say for ESX host, and 30 agents inside of those that could get outdated, if you have a VM sitting on a catalog or sitting or just being rolled back with a snapshot, you would lose all your definitions. Now a service provider like a cloud provider or internal IT can actually run AV as a service and guarantee that any new virtual machine that comes online will actually be scanned before it even is powered up and it's actually up and running and all that. So we see a lot of efficiency and a lot of automation capability and better security practices because now you can take virtual machines sitting on the same broadcast domain on the same LAN and basically subdivide them. You can make policies that say you cannot have this virtual machine that's sitting on the same LAN talk to this other virtual machine because there are two desktops and they can only talk to common services like filers or Active Directory, etc. So you can have very restrictive policies. We have an SDK that actually enables service providers and enterprise customers to completely automate workflows of creating VDCs, virtual data centers, deploying perimeter security, deploying VM to VM security and AV policies on the fly using automated fashion like the Amazon Cloud APIs. And if you look at the synthesis and genesis of the edge appliance that we have, we actually take a look at what the state of the art technology is for a lot of the existing clouds. And we wanted to supersede that and bring features above and beside that. And we have features like VPN, site-to-site uh, -site VPN for cloud bursting and expanding the cloud from private site to the public site. We have features like load balancer to stand up auto-scaling applications. That's all possible and available in the VShield product line uh, at this point. You got a good camera set here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks.